Ah, uh, enjoying the weather today with some music behind me. Of course, it is Revive at 5 every Wednesday evening in Old Town Pocatello. we got the Lookout Point stage. The band, the music you hear is the Aaron Ball Band, a local band, really good, very talented. Maybe you hear it. Come on out. It's free for the entire family. Of course, come hungry, come thirsty. Lots of food, lots of drink here. We have several uh, food trucks here to enjoy. Bring the lawn chairs. I don't think you'll need a jacket this evening, but it is a little bit on the windy side. It's going to stay kind of windy for the next hour or two. We're out here until about 8, 8.30 this evening. It happens every Wednesday throughout summer. So if you can't make it today, you can always make it next Wednesday. But I'll tell you this right now. Next Wednesday is going to be a scorcher. Uh, yeah, scorcher. So enjoy and enjoy this wind. Yeah, I know it's drying things out. We have a Lake Wood advisory out for the American Falls Reservoir. We'll see wind gusts up to 35. So if you were getting the itch to go boating out of the reservoir, you may want to postpone. Just come out here to Reve at, Revive at 5 at Pocatello. It's going to be windy, but at least you don't have to worry about getting capsized, right, on that little small boat you have. So come on out. The uh, advisory for the American Falls Reservoir is out until 9 this evening. And it looks like, too, we got uh, the wind continuing for a good chunk of East Idaho into early this evening. Then that wind starts to back off. Now, what's causing the wind from the Storm Tracker radar satellite map, you can see that system up in Montana providing some rain, some showers up north. We had a little shower go through the upper snake we were playing just north of Idle Falls this afternoon. All that is scooting eastward. High pressure building towards our southwest. That high pressure will allow things to settle down a bit uh, later this evening, and that means tomorrow a lot less wind. We'll have a light breeze, but nothing like today, especially in the lower Snake River Plain. So let's take a look at the forecast for tonight. Last night we were in the 50s in Pocatello. Tonight we're looking a low in the 40s, so a little bit cooler. Not bad, pretty close to where we typically are this time of year. We had a clear sky as well. Then tomorrow, it's a holiday, 4th of July. Wind, not a problem. We'll call them 5 to 10 miles per hour, better than that 15 to 30 mile per hour winds we're seeing out there right now. And plenty of sun, plenty of sunshine. I was just going to say you may want to slap on some extra sunscreen or go with a higher SPF because we got a bright one all day long with high temperatures for some of us in the 80s. Then your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer seven-day forecast looking ahead. It does get warmer. A bit warmer on Friday. First weekend of Ju July, we're looking at hot temperatures in the 90s. And notice how much hotter it will be a week from now. We'll hit 100 on the Snake River Plain on Wednesday with lots of sunshine. So dry out there. Can't even scare up a cloud. For the Teton area, seven-day forecast, same thing. We start warming up. When we're in the hundreds down low, they'll be in the 80s next week with plenty of sunshine. For the Central Mountains, we're going to heat up as well. Temperatures in the 80s and then the 90s, hot and dry next week. Misty, Doug Iverson here live at Revive at 5. Come on out.